work on that. Delicious! You take me to all the finest places! Yeah, we learned on Venom 1 that this movie has a really specific and kind of odd tone. Insane killing people, and I have growth! <laughs> What's tricky is how to make manifest something that's compelling and works. We had to marry this kind of comedy with horror and also touches of the surreal absurdism as well. Because you're just a parasite. Parasite! A movie like this is going to live and die by multiple parts, one being its story and its character work, and the other being visual effects and action. You are making us look bad. I'm so sorry about your friend. Following on from Venom 1, we knew that Venom 2 had to be huge. I'd like you to meet Carnage. This thing just got bigger and bigger and bigger and more and more and more crazy. We also wanted to lean to the comedy and absurd side of the movie too. Okay, here we go. Action! I really, really loved the first two Venom movies. I just think Tom Hardy is brilliant in them. Stop! Something quite sexy about Venom, also. Sorry, no, no, not my type. <laughs> we are leaving. Tom puts so much in everything he does, <laughs> and he just loves to play. Let's make a movie. It's such an amazing performance because he's playing two characters, and he plays them so effortlessly. That was a massive part of the attraction in the first place, to get to work with Tom again. Whoa! <laughs> There's lots of nice comedy undertones in there as well as these fantastic action sequences. So, to be asked back was great. Last time it ended, slightly open-ended. Monsters. By the end of Venom 2, everybody knows that symbiotes exist. Venom and Eddie have very much exposed themselves in this movie. They're gonna come for you both. I know. And so ultimately what that really means for Venom 3 is that Eddie and Venom are fugitives. Let's go get them. What Kelly's done with this film is really on a huge scale. Good. Cut. Kelly wanted this to be sort of the biggest one of the three. It's so out there. It's so crazy. Three, two, one, go. Incredible set pieces, great stunts, but also these deeper moments and uh, deeper ways of engaging with these characters. We get out of San Francisco and we're seeing Venom in a different context. Eddie, the time has come. My creator has found us. There's a mythic component to this film, and there are scenes full of pathos. It's an epic story. You see Eddie and Venom coming together as a team. When one falls, the other one catches the other. We always want to do right by the fans and that we're sort of paying homage to Venom and getting it right. No, you out of the mind! kind of combines all of those elements that I think we love to see in the Venom films. There's an army coming that cannot be beaten. These films are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and this one's huge this time. It's such an enormous production, but it feels really authentic. It's just going to blow the audience's mind. It's been blowing our minds every day. It is truly unique. And I know the fans will love it. What's his name then? No. No.